Okay, grade four, um, you will have an open book test next week because I don't want to over stress you for the fact that you do have an ICT test next week. But an open book means that the desks will all be separated into rows and you will not be able to work together on this. You will be able to use your book, but you're not allowed to talk to each other. You're not allowed to work on it with anybody else. And I will be in the room. But you won't have to study as hard because you should know most of the answers by helping you with what we did kind of sort of in class, okay? So your open book test for unit four will be next week and it will be over unit four, okay? So I'm going to do some of the questions and wait a little bit and give you a chance to think about it and help you answer it. And so then when you go to take the test, you'll kind of remember if, if you study with me, you'll remember what you're supposed to know, okay? All right, so um, from the caring heart uh, story, okay, what were the names of the two best friends? They were David and Simon. Okay, which of the friends was more of a bully? You're right, that was Simon. And who rushed to help the boy who fell down? Right, that was David. So Raj had just moved to the area. Do you remember which country he is from? Right, he was from India. Okay, and as David and Simon go to the host, they remembered that they have a snack in their bag and they decided to eat it together. Right? Can you remember what the snack was? Right, it was chocolate. But did they eat it? Well, who actually got to eat it? Do you remember? Now, we didn't talk about this in review. So who actually got the chocolate bar? Right, it was a poor man who was sitting on the corner of the road. So David and Simon decided to give him a piece of the chocolate. So they, they shared it between themselves and they shared it with this older poor man who was on the side of the road who seemed to be hungry. Okay, all right. Okay, so I asked you, what is empathy? And I asked you, give me three definitions of what empathy is. Okay, so the answer to this question is on page 49. And the answers are, number one, the ability to understand how other people feel Number two, the ability to be caring towards others. And number three, the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. All right, so those are the three definitions of empathy. All right, and part of the test is I'm going to have to ask you, okay, give me an example, a real life example of what being empathetic means. All right, so it could be, oh, I know my, I saw my brother upset and I felt I, you know, I was upset too because, you know, what could I do to make him feel better? I've been in his shoes before, right? I know how he feels. So that'd be one way of being empathetic. And then you're supposed to name me, give me an, an, another thing saying that, oh, how would I be insensitive to him? Okay, so I'm just an example. Okay, so need a specific example, not not general like feeling what other people are feeling or not what other people are feeling. I want an exact example of something in your life, how you can be empathetic and how you can be insensitive. Okay. And so on page 
52, there are some examples of how you can be empathetic. All right, they are in that survey on finding out how empathetic you are. All right, remember we did that on page 52. So on 52, it talks about how empathetic you are. So therefore, those different things here would be an example of how you can be empathetic. And if you were ins insensitive, this might be something uh, that you can understand better on how to say. Okay, so like on page 54, there are little people that are like doing different things and they are showing what they're feeling. Okay, remember we talked a lot about like body language and you listen to the FBI guy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw little, little figurines like the ones that are inside the book or maybe they might be something from the internet that has similar emotion. Okay, and you will have to look at the words on the list and identify which, which body language is being shown. And the last part of your test is going to be from page 55. And you are going to have to tell me, I might give you um, three of these examples and change the names. And you might have to tell me, how would you feel if you were in that situation? All right, so it might be everybody in Peter's class was invited to a birthday party except for him. So how would that make you feel? And you have to be able to write down how that would make you feel, okay? Okay, so grade four, that is basically a, a general part of what this test is going to be about. Like I said, you will be able to use your book, and I will correct your books after the test because um, even though we still have one more unit, I do believe that it's about internet safety, and I think this is most likely something you probably learned about with um, Ms. Fatima, probably because I'm sure she talked about it there. So we probably won't be hitting unit five this year, um, but uh, we will finish with the, the empathy and that's really important things to talk about, okay? So um, I hope you have fun studying and your open book test will be next week, okay? Bye, see you later, have fun.